Martin B. 26, Marauder. Flight specifications of Martin B-26 aircraft Engines. Pratt & Whitney R-28005. Power. 1,850 horsepower. Wingspan. 19.81 meters. The length of the aircraft. 17.07 meters. The height of the plane. 6.04 meters. Wing area. 55.93 square meters. Weight. Kilogram. Empty aircraft. 9,696. Normal takeoff weight. 12,338. Maximum speed. 507 km per hour. Time of climb. 4,572 meters. 12, 3 minutes. Headway. 7,620 meters. Flying range. 1,610 km. History of the aircraft. The Martin B-26 Marauder aircraft, which became, along with the North American B-25, the, the main type of American medium bombers of the Second World War. The aircraft was developed in accordance with specification 39 to 640. Requirements. Bomb load minus 3,000 pounds, 1,361 kilograms. Flight range minus 2,000 miles, 3,218 kilometers. Speed more than 300 miles per hour, 482 kilometers per hour. Ceiling more than 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters. The crew of the aircraft was to consist of five people and the defensive armament should include at least four 7.62 mm machine guns. Four companies took part in the competition, Martin, North American, Douglas and Stearman. The Project Martin under the designation Model 179 was developed by a team led by P.M. Magruder. His aircraft was a monoplane with a high-pitched wing of small elongation, a single-keeled tail and a retractable tricycle landing gear with a nose rack. The bomber received a streamlined cigar-shaped fuselage with a glazed nose, made as a single part by hot stamping from plexiglass. The Model 179 inches was distinguished by a number of innovative solutions, in particular, about 400 names of plastic parts were used in its design. The aircraft was the first in the history of aviation in which plastics were so widely used. At the same time, when designing the machine, the requirements of mass production were taken into account. The 18-cylinder air-cooled Pratt & Whitney R28005 double wasp, 1,850 horsepower engines were chosen as the power plant. The armament, as stipulated by the specification, consisted of four machine guns, one each in the nose and tail installations and two in the upper turret. In July 1939, the project, Model 179 inches was submitted for consideration by the Competition Commission. Martin's proposal was recognized as the best in comparison with competitors, and on August 5, 1939, the company received a contract for the construction of 201 aircraft, immediately serial, without a prototype. 
The first Martin B-26 was flown on November 25, 1940, and on February 22 of the following year, the first four machines were transferred to the U.S. Army Air Force. The total volume of serial production, which lasted until April 1945, amounted to 5,288 aircraft. Combat use of the Martin B-26 Combat use of the Martin B-26 Marauder Deliveries of the B-26 to the U.S. Army Air Forces began in the spring of 1941. The 22nd Bombardment Group was the first to receive them, and by the time Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, two more groups, the 38th and 42nd, were in the stage of retraining for marauders. The development of new machines was accompanied by numerous accidents and catastrophes. The aircraft stuffed with technical innovations turned out to be very demanding in aerobatics. In July 1942, the issue of removing the B-26 from production was even considered. But just at that time, positive reviews about the Marauder began to arrive from the theater of operations, and eventually the production of the aircraft continued. In February 1942, the 22nd Bombardment Group was relocated to Hawaii. For about a month she was engaged in patrolling, after which she left for Australia. On April 5, 1942, six marauders struck Rabaul, so the combat debut of the new bomber took place. In the future, raids on targets in the New Guinea area became the main job for the 22nd Group. In September 1942, the 22nd Combat Group participated in the Battle of Milne Bay. In January 1943 it attacked the Japanese Gonabuna Bridgehead. In November 1942, her marauders made several raids on Timor. By mid-1942, the 38th Combat Group also arrived in the South Pacific. Her squadrons were stationed in the New Hebrides and Fiji, and most of the sorties were on reconnaissance and anti-submarine patrols. More actively from November 1943, she operated on Guadalcanal, performing 63 group raids on coastal and naval targets until mid-February. During 1943, the consolidated B-24 Liberator and the North American B-25 Mitchell replaced the B-26 in the 5th VA. At the beginning of June 1942, the B-26 went into battle in the north, near the Aleutian Islands. The 73rd, 77th and 406th squadrons stationed here participated in an attempt to repel the Japanese landing, and then in raids on the Japanese-occupied islands of Kiska and Attu. By February 1943, the marauders were replaced by the B-25. Quite a significant number of marauders operated in the 12th VA in North Africa and the Mediterranean Sea. In December 1942, the 319th and 17th Bomber Groups arrived at this theater of operations, and in April 1943, the 320th. The debut in North Africa was massive. In early December 1942, all the planes of the 319th Group bombed the positions of the Italo German troops at Sousse, Tunisia, for eight days in a row. The most important role was played by the marauders in the preparation of the Normandy landings. By May 1944, there were already 10 B 26 groups in England, whose efforts were concentrated in the area of the future landing. Bridges, railway lines, airfields, as well as coastal batteries were hit. The effectiveness of the raids turned out to be low. By the end of May, the marauders failed to destroy a single bridge or viaduct. On the morning of June 6, about 400 B-26s processed the beaches where Allied troops were supposed to land. To increase the accuracy, bombing was carried out not from the usual 3,500 to 4,000 meters, but from 1,000 meters. Over the bridgeheads, marauders worked until dusk, suppressing pockets of resistance of the Wehrmacht. In total, on June 6, the B-26 carried out 650 sorties. In the following days, they attacked the advancing German reserves. It should be noted that the aircraft was considered extremely difficult both in ground handling and in aerobatics, especially during takeoff and landing. This was caused by a very high load on the wing. 
By increasing its scope, it was possible to somewhat improve the behavior of the aircraft, but it was not so easy to destroy established stereotypes. However, if we objectively evaluate the results of the combat work of the B-26, it turns out that the aircraft was quite good. For example, the level of combat losses of the marauders in Europe did not even reach 1%. Nevertheless, the career of the B-26 was short-lived, already during the war it began to be replaced by simpler and more reliable B-25, and after the victory it was finally replaced by the A-26.